Hi everyone, today we are going to be talking about the new Jetstream 3 More Black. And I actually never did a video on the original lineup, so I'll be showing those in this video after I go over these this limited edition version of the Jetstream More Black. So you know, when you hear the name Jetstream More Black, you might think, oh, it means the black is even bolder or something like that. But what's actually going on is Mitsubishi realizes that when you are using a multi-pin, most people will use the black up before all the other colors. So they've done two really cool things with this Jetstream Multi. They've given you 70% more black. So there are now the, the original refills are still available and they still come in all of the colors and tip sizes that they always did. But now you can also purchase a Jetstream Multi refill that has a lot more black ink in it. And so it is more expensive, but the whole idea is that you can basically fill more black and not have to change it as much as you otherwise would have. And then the other thing they've done is given you the clip top for the black. So they used to use a lever for all the colors. I mean, they still do in the original Jetstream multi pens, but realizing that most people want to use the black most often, they made it easy for you by giving you that click top at the top for the black. So these four limited edition colors are available in the 0.5 tip size. Now, of course, you could refill with a finer or a thicker tip size if that was your preference, but they're going to come with 0.5 in those three colors. And they are available in two-tone pink, two-tone, do they call this lavender? Two-tone, yeah, two-tone lavender, two-tone blue, and two-tone gray. Now, let me show you the original lineup. So the original lineup is available in 0.5 or 0.7. Of course, you can refill it however. And the colors are a little bit different for the tip sizes, but there are some duplicates. So if I have this correct, I think these are the colors available in 0.5, and then I think in 0.7, it might be like these over here. So some colors are duplicated throughout the two tip sizes, but some of the colors, like these pastel ones, they're only going to be available pre-filled with a 0.5, so you'd have to refill with a thicker tip size if that's your preference. So you can kind of see the difference here between the original lineup and then the two-tone limited edition. Just literally, they've used two different colors instead of one main body color. So let's swatch these. Now, most of you have tried Jetstream ink. It's extremely smooth. It is the ink that comes with the Hobo Nietzsche. So some of, some people call the Jetstream pens the Hobo Nietzsche pens and don't necessarily realize that what they're using is the Jetstream ink. But it is really nice on that Tomoe River paper, so I know people like it. I have some 
I'd like swatching paper I can show you here. So 0.5 in a ballpoint is going to be finer than 0.5 in a gel. I've talked about that a lot, but I know some people still are a little confused by that. And then why don't I go ahead and swatch the 0.7 for you as well. Just so you can kind of see the difference. So this olive in the original lineup, it's only available pre-filled with that 0.7. And, you know, for a lot of people, this makes the difference for them on whether it feels smooth or not. Especially if you tend to write larger letters, you generally want to go with thicker tip size. But everyone's got, you know, different writing styles. It's going to feel differently. So there is your jet stream more black and yeah i i think my favorite feature of this is the click top at the top because i feel like it's just so much quicker you know i when usually when i'm using multi pens i'm like taking the time to like okay where is the black because you know for me that is the color i'm almost always want to use so I just love that you don't really have to take that time to kind of like inspect your pen. You just have this movement here. And of course, if you were somebody who used a different color other than black most frequently in your Jetstream pen, you could switch them around. I think some people might feel like confused if they had a different color in the side lever than what was actually there but i mean that is something you could do you could just put the blue or something like that accessible every time you want to do the clip top but most people are going to prefer the black and so that's why they did it that way well if you have any questions about this new jetstream 3 more black don't hesitate to ask them below, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.